Although the crescent-shaped UFO OVA is one of the approved shapes in the database of UFO shapes, the documented sightings of it are few or may be considered rare. Recently, several sightings of such mysterious flying objects have been documented in many places, including Glendale, Arizona, and Orange County, California. The first widely reported UFO sighting was Kenneth Arnold's in 1947, when he claimed to have seen a string of nine crescent-shaped objects. The man was criticized by many and even some skeptics asserted that the sighting had been fabricated. But a sighting of crescent-shaped UFO in 1995 over Tallahassee, Florida, USA caused speculation to resurface about the reality of Kenneth Arnold's sighting. The crescent-shaped UFO issue resurfaces again. Whereas, the UFO was almost identical to the physical descriptions made by Kenneth Arnold's UFO. Reports of crescent-shaped UFOs have been increasing in recent years, leading many to believe that they could be a sign of extraterrestrial activity. On the evening of October 1995, a strange phenomenon shook the city of Tallahassee, Florida. Reports describe a large, crescent-shaped UFO hovering above the city, shining a bright light and making a loud humming noise. Local residents were stunned by this strange event, and soon the news of the UFO spread all over the area. People from the neighboring towns and cities traveled to Tallahassee, to see the mysterious object for themselves. Many theories were proposed to explain the event, but none of them could explain the craft's origin. Some speculated that the UFO could be a military aircraft, while others suggested it was an alien vessel. However, despite multiple investigations, no concrete evidence has been found to support any of these theories. The incident remains a mystery to this day, and is considered by many to be one of the most remarkable and unexplained UFO sightings on record. Residents in Glendale, Arizona was stunned when they spotted a strange, crescent-shaped object in the sky on Tuesday night. Many speculated that it was a UFO. Witnesses described it as a large metallic object with two bright lights that seemed to be connected by an arc. It was estimated to be around 100 feet long and was seen moving slowly in the sky for about 10 minutes before disappearing. The sighting sparked speculation among locals, and UFO enthusiasts alike, who were eager to find out what this strange object could be. Was it an alien spacecraft or some kind of military aircraft? Or came from extraterrestrial life visiting Earth? These questions remain unanswered as the mysterious crescent-shaped UFO remains unidentified. Perhaps the strangest sighting of crescent-shaped UFO was, the 1561 celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg. It was a mass sighting of celestial phenomena, or unidentified flying objects, UFO, above Nuremberg, Germany. The phenomenon has been interpreted by some modern UFO enthusiasts as an aerial battle of extraterrestrial origin. Skeptics mostly dismiss this viewpoint, with some citing Carl Jung's mid-20th century writings on the subject, while others believe the phenomenon is most likely a sun dog. According to a broadsheet news article published in April 1561, describes a large number of UFO sightings. The broadsheet measures 26.2 cm, 10.3 inch, by 38.0 cm, 10.3 inch, and is illustrated with a woodcut engraving and text by Hans Glazer, 15.0 inch. The document is archived in the Prints and Drawings Collection at the Central Bibliothek Zurich, in Zurich, Switzerland. According to the broadsheet, residents of Nuremberg witnessed an aerial battle around dawn on April 14, 1561, followed by the appearance of a large black triangular object and then a large crash outside of the city. According to the broadsheet, witnesses saw hundreds of spheres, cylinders, and other odd-shaped objects moving erratically overhead. The broadsheet describes various shapes of objects, such as crosses, globes, two lunar crescents, a black spear, and tubular objects from which several smaller, round objects emerged and darted around the sky at dawn. Residents of a city in Cuba witnessed an unidentified flying object with a very unusual shape that we are not used to seeing in the history of UFOs in 2019. 
Its shape does not match any of the UFO object shapes documented throughout history, where the UFO first appears in the sky as a bright orange ball that flashes frequently. Then, on both sides of this mysterious light ball, faint wings appear, which become clear after a short time. Anyone who saw the unidentified flying object at first, thought it was in the shape of a crescent with a large orange light in the center. After a short time, another physical body appears in the center of the UFO, this time in the form of a disc, and something resembling a tail appears at the back of the disc. It has an S-shaped light that rotates regularly anticlockwise on the underside of the object, all of this was initially just a ball of light flying in the sky from where the wings came, and then the middle object in the form of a disc. Jamie Mason, a Mexican journalist and ufologist, previously stated that, such UFO objects can change from their physical state to a plasma state, as he described to be able to fly at tremendous speed, and that in this case there is the ability for such objects to turn into a material, that can travel at any speed, without disintegrating or fading away, when investigating the Carlos Diaz case. Some may consider such explanations of how a substance transforms from a solid state to a plasmatic state to be fanciful. I agree that it is difficult to believe, but if someone described one of today's inventions, such as the mobile phone, computers, or even the internet before it was invented, you would also think it is a bit of a fantasy. On the evening of April, 2021, residents in Orange County, California were stunned to witness a crescent-shaped UFO, flying through the sky. This mysterious object was seen by many people and caused quite a stir in the area. Reports from witnesses describe it as having a glow with two bright lights on either side. The object reportedly moved quickly and silently, and then disappeared. The sighting was reported to local law enforcement, but the object has not been officially identified, and its true nature remains a mystery. The sighting has sparked much debate among UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Some believe this could be evidence of extraterrestrial life visiting our planet, while others think it could just be a military experiment or a hoax. Regardless of what it is, this crescent-shaped UFO has certainly caught the attention of many people, and will no doubt continue to be discussed for years to come. The earliest reports of crescent-shaped UFOs date back to medieval accounts from Europe, with some accounts from China and Japan. They have been described as large, black, crescent-shaped vessels with glowing or pulsating edges. They have been reported to move slowly and silently in the night sky, often with a strange rainbow or other light effect surrounding them. Some theories about crescent-shaped UFOs suggest they are piloted by extraterrestrial beings, while others suggest they are a type of experimental aircraft developed by Earth-based technologies. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, sightings of crescent-shaped UFOs continue to be reported, often eliciting intense curiosity and speculation. Since then, there have been numerous reports of crescent-shaped UFOs around the world, including one investigated by J. Allen Hynek in 1966. Reports of strange aerial phenomena date back centuries, with some Chinese texts from the 4th century, describing a moon boat hovering above China every 12 years. These sightings have been reported all over the world, from North America to Europe and even Japan. The crescent-shaped UFO is an intriguing phenomenon that has yet to be explained. What could these strange objects be? Could they be evidence of alien life or something else entirely?